UK studies on environmental management policies. Discovering resilience out of disaster. The recovery of Higashi Matsushima City. Indonesia suffered the full force of the December 26, 2004 tsunami, a magnitude 9.1 quake, which was one of the biggest in a century, and left the entire coastline in ruins. Lives, homes, schools, social networks, and all basic infrastructure were destroyed, leaving a region with few resources for recovery. In less than 10 minutes, over 200,000 people were killed by the waves, and over half a million people became homeless. Ten years after the tsunami, the outpouring of international help has affected the community. The downtown park has been turned into a monument of thanks, with each of the 53 responding countries acknowledged by individual markers. There is also a very impressive museum dedicated to the tsunami. The museum is part exhibit and part learning experience, with a whole section about the science behind the tsunami and the earthquake that caused it. More interestingly, the presence of the larger international community had helped end Aceh's civil war by flooding this once restricted region with outsiders and ensuring that a fragile peace agreement signed just months after the tsunami would hold. Through this lecture, we will learn about the cases recovered from disaster such as tsunami. 1. The Overview Higashi Matsushima City is located 400 kilometers north of Tokyo. It is blessed with beautiful natural landscapes. Before the giant tsunami hit her land, citizens enjoyed beautiful flowers and tree-lined boulevards. Unfortunately, however, these sceneries are now lost. On the 11th of March, 2011, a giant tsunami with the height of 10.5 meters hit the city. Upon this event, a total of 18,460 people lost their lives in Japan. In Higashi Matsushima alone, the city lost the precious lives of 1,134 people. At the time of the event, humans, houses and infrastructure and everything else were swept away in an instant. The tsunami reached as far as 7 kilometers inland from the coastline because of geographical characteristics of coastal lowlands. The area flooded by the tsunami is indicated in blue on the map. In terms of the area exposed to the tsunami, this city suffered the most severe damage in Japan. 73% of the residential houses were damaged. The red dots on the map indicate the houses of the people who lost their lives. The red dots are concentrated in the areas located 2 to 3 kilometers inland from the coast. This is because the height of this particular tsunami was 8 to 10 times higher than was expected before the event and in previous evacuation plans. Take a break quiz. Please read the following questions and choose O or X. Two. Background, Objective, and Major Achievements The governmental administrative functions almost stopped due to such immense damage. The only ones that managed to react were the community organizations. Even before 2011, in Higashi Matsushima City, 
eight community self-governing organizations had been functioning within the city ordinance. Provision of food and search for missing persons are usually done by the city office or the police in Japan, but following this massive disaster, such efforts were constrained and inadequate. However, in the Higashi Matsushima case, most of these activities were voluntarily initiated by the executive members of the community organizations. These community-initiated activities eventually led to discussions among the residents towards reconstruction and their future. Through a series of workshops held between the city office and the residents, a consensus was finally reached to relocate 7,000 residents, which amounts to around 20% of the total city population of 40,000. Seven relocation sites were planned located on higher ground, equipped with ample space and safety to allow for the collective relocation of the community as a whole. Moreover, the selected sites are close to the train stations, because in the case of Japan, the majority of the residents are elderly people who need easy access to public transportation. With such large-scale relocation, at the time of planning, the construction projects were anticipated to be prolonged. However, they managed to complete all seven relocation sites in five years through consensus building with the residents and strategic construction. Furthermore, the city is developing a total of 1,010 units of municipal housing targeting the disaster victims and 831 of these units have already been completed. Through a careful preliminary survey and good cooperation with the residents, the occupancy rate of the housing is close to 100%, which is the top level in Japan, and thus something of great pride to the city mayor. This disaster produced enormous amounts of waste and rubble. In just one day, it generated the amount of 10 years of waste in normal time. In Japan, many local governments constructed temporary incinerators to dispose of the disaster waste. But in Higashi Matsushima City, backed with residents' understanding, they segregated 99% of the waste and recycled it. The city hired the residents who had been affected by the disaster and segregation was done by hand, which in the end resulted in a huge reduction on the national budget. Their achievement also created additional budget and resources. And now it is widely known as the Higashi Matsushima Method. Higashi Matsushima City suffered immense damage, but following this disaster, they were determined not to just restore their city back to its previous state, but to build back better, which means to make the city better than it used to be. Also, they were facing the huge task of rebuilding the city's infrastructure up from the complete foundation. They also wanted the new city to endeavor to address the challenges, such as disaster prevention, environment, and the utilization of renewable energy, in parallel with infrastructure reconstruction. Higashi Matsushima City aims to achieve sustainable development by participating in the Future City Initiative, which is the special feature of the reconstruction process of this city. There was a park swept away by the tsunami. At the remaining site, they installed a large-scale solar power station. They also installed solar panels on the roof of the emergency evacuation center. At the time of an emergency, this facility can supply electricity to the evacuation center. In addition, they established a subsidy system for the residents who decide to install solar panels on their houses. As a result, the city's production of solar power is now 20 times greater compared to the level before 2011. 
they experienced a prolonged power outage at the time of the disaster. This can become a life-threatening matter, especially for the hospitals. Moreover, global warming is a worldwide challenge. Cities and countries have to come together to reduce carbon dioxide emissions. Higashi Matsushima City realized a system in which a central energy management system generates and manages solar power and emergency biodiesel and supplies electricity to the municipal housing units as well as hospitals and clinics in the neighborhood. Although the scale is small, it is the first time for this kind of system to be established in Japan. These projects and activities are managed by an incorporated association named HOPE, in which various academic institutions and private companies are participating. They learned from their own experience that even if it is difficult to overcome certain challenges by the residents and the city office alone, they can pave the way for a better direction if they collaborate with various stakeholders. In the past decade, around 700,000 lives were lost worldwide due to natural disasters. Japan endeavors to accelerate its international cooperation based on the SDGs and the Paris Climate Agreement. Higashi Matsushima City also aims to contribute to this endeavor by implementing international cooperation projects utilizing their experiences with the tsunami and reconstruction. Through collaboration with JICA, they are implementing joint projects with the tsunami-affected city of Indonesia, Banda Aceh, as well as with Leyte Island of the Philippines, which was hit by Typhoon Yolanda. Take a break quiz. Please read the following questions and choose O or X. Three conclusion and lessons. The message from Higashi Matsushima is that we cannot change the past, but our future can be built better through our own efforts. The city and its community's experience will encourage each of us to take a courageous step to take up the challenge towards sustainable development. Summary. Let's review and summarize what we've learned so far. We learned about discovering resilience out of disaster, the recovery of Higashi Matsushima City. Goodbye.